as she is still looking great to try to get a third bell in a row this year. She has the local wild card, Ellie Harrison, who certainly made some noise yesterday. Yeah, that's going to be a, a great heat as well. And you'd have to say that uh, based on the performances yesterday. We'll see if she can get it back soon this year as we Ooh. get things started with Joanne DeFay, an awkward fall. I was like, what are they doing? And then I was like, of course, that makes total sense. We see Sally Fitzgibbons here. Sally nice now, wave. rolling in with that whitewater chip. Nice patience on the oh, open yes. face. And that was a cool searing hook to start. That whitewater section is giving her a good spot to drill that second finishing move. And then Sally rolled into this one. Yeah, great wave here for Sal. Watch this first turn. Gets a nice little pockety wrap. Throws a ton of spray. Sets her composure and then gets that final hit. Throws that back arm in, almost a bit of a layback re-entry to, to, uh, to finish that one off. But I love how she drove through that turn. Nice and quick, tight little arc. And then watch here. She gets that composure, sets her eye on that lip there, and it, was, uh, it wasn't a straightforward maneuver there. She kind of had to adapt with it. But, uh, yeah, manages to get to the finish. And she was so happy to get that wave yesterday at the bowl that turned the heat. A little wrapping cut back for DeFay to recover from the fall. Nice wrap again as she's got another opportunity to throw a nice clean turn in the pocket. End section approaching, oh, and I love surfing. that. Speedy snapped a slide. Turn combination. And this was Joanne on a tricky wave. What I love about Joe's surfing is how she does that little wrap all the way around. And even in uh, this turbulent water, she's still getting that little bit of tail release as she comes through to the inside, puts a little spice, gets a little uh, drift on that final maneuver there. That would have felt good. Sally, a two-turn combination, getting the 7-5. DeFay with the wall, and she'll just hop out. Uh, on that final section, and this was Sally. Longer ride. Nice, composed, uh, little cutback to start things off. Now Sal starts to wind up. That was a better slice off the top. Comes through to the inside. Taps the lip. Down the line maneuvers. So uh, multiple turns there. So and, and clearly she hasn't done that yet and, and really wants to rectify that. Joanne DeFay had the seven and then into this wave. Yeah, not a bad wave. Standing up on the inside. As uh, that morning sunshine just, uh, wow, frames that beautiful last turn. Also barrel riding as well. She's uh, gotten some crazy caves in the jersey over her career as we look at a little chip in for Sal she's up and out still holding the lead and uh, still waiting for the last score for DeFay to lock in but that was kind of a cool idea and then we're bringing up an idea of like when if the priority was like a shot clock in basketball where you'd actually expire yeah wow well okay. you know we're always thinking of new ideas as we look at an up and out from Sally Fitzgibbons uh, the last score did come through for Joanne DeFay at a 7.27. Throwing out the hashtag WSL1Ocean as we roll in with Sally Fitzgibbons. Wrapping turn to start, trying to get this wall to really stand up for. Deep off the bottom, Sally blows the tail but goes over the falls. Right now and look for a better wave. As you can see here, she just takes sort of a long cut back as this wave. Now it starts to run. Starts to hit the reef better, she pushes so hard. Joanne DeFay's on the next one. DeFay from Reunion, Reunion Island representing France on tour. 2014 Rookie of the Year looking for a big finishing move. How about that wind up showing some power but incredible timing this morning. Turn at the end there if she wanted to get some points. Joanne better looking way from the outset. A, a nice powerful carve. Wrapping cut back here and then lines up this final section. Goes early. Seeing a total change in what's happening in 2024. We talk about Kelly a lot with how he's crossed so many generations. And but the veterans are ready to try to climb back up the rankings. Current world number two, DeFay with a wrapping cut back. Blitzing that section, looking so smooth on that sharp eye. Oh, she wow. lays down a hammer right in the pocket. A big opportunity down the line. But this one hugged the reef. And Joanne took full advantage of it. Clean snap to start off. Beautiful connection there with the lip. And this final turn, she keeps hammering the, that last section and, and really putting some theatrics and, uh, you know, making the judges uh, stand up and go, wow, you know, it, it's that wow moment. And she's bringing it. Ton of spray, critical section there where she had to outrun that lip coming down behind her. 
And she's sitting a bit lower. She might roll into this one just to check it out, up and out. Sally Fitzgibbons and DeFay will move on to the quarterfinals here at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, presented by Bonsoy. 783-763. Solid. Throwing away two other sevens, so she could have won that heat two times.